Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. Today I have uh, some new toys I'm playing with and this is one of the new uh, Thinlets dies from the new catalog. It's the Baker's Box Thinlets die and I haven't done anything with it yet so we are going to do it together on camera here and see how quick and easy it is to put together. I did take it off but that's as far as I've gotten. I also chose my card stack. This is the new neutrals uh, paper stack. Very pretty. This is uh, a gold on white. Um, I love this and it makes gorgeous boxes because I've made boxes or bags I should say with the new um, gift bag punch board. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to bring my big shot in. And I cut the card sack 6 by 12 and then cut it in half so that I have two 6 by 6 pieces. And I am just going to lay that on top of both. I'm going to cut both of them at the same time. Hopefully that will work for me. This little one right here, I want that. I did read the directions a little bit. This is my handle. So if I want a handle... Oh, that magnetic. I gotta turn this. Sometimes you gotta play with that magnet to get it to go where you, so it's not jumping around. Because I want that kind of centered in there. Since that's the top, I don't care if I cut the bottom off a shade. I want to make sure I get my top nice. So that looks good. Now I gotta grab my plate for the top, which is, what did I do with that? Here we go. Put your plate on top. And then we're gonna run it through. Now the directions said, crack, crack, crack. You should run it two or three times. And since I doubled up on the cardstock, I'm going to go through twice. It also recommended that you could use wax paper, but we're going to just see how it goes here. So far, it looks like my handle went. It looks like it went good. No problem. So take away the excess. And I have two of these little boxes. I have no idea how to put them together, so we'll figure that out. Lots of score lines, I see. So I'm just going to start by folding on all those score lines, and then maybe I'll see what the box is supposed to look like. It'll take shape here. See some tabs. I'll fold this one. This is like a try it before you buy it type video, I think. Let me show you if it's easy or not easy. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, so I have tabs here. That's the top. Alright, so this has to be this side, so it's got to go like this. I would say. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and put my adhesive on here. Love the fast fuse. I am going to do it like this. Match that up on the side. Nice. So far so good. Fold these tabs over. Alright. And then just 
fold this right on top. All right. Okay, so I was making it harder than what it is. You just fold in the sides and then this just interlocks like that. So your bottom is like that. I would put a little bit of adhesive on there, I think. They say that it's not necessary, but I think it's necessary. There we go. Then just bring your handles up. They've got a little score here. That will make it a little bit easier. Okay. And then you just V in your sides. What a cute box. I would take our gorgeous gold satin ribbon. I hope this is still in the catalog. I didn't even check. And you could close it with a bow. You could also close it with a clothespin. That would be cute and hang a tag. I think there's lots that you could do with it. I'm just going to tie a knot, I think, for now. And I wouldn't even tie another one. I would just do it like that. Cute. So there you have it. The new baker's box. Fun new little box. Put a tag on there. Put some little treats in there. You can use any of the dies that come with it. Um, like the circle, you could punch out a peekaboo window and then put a clear window sheet behind it so you can see your treats. Um, you could use any of these. Make your little tag. Yum. These are in the top. If you, um, like when you do your handle, you can put these in the top. And then you also have the two, which is for stringing your ribbon and tying a bow in the front, gather them. So lots you can do with your handle. But what I would do is I would run the two pieces through first and then center this where I would want it in the handle. I think that would make it a little bit easier. Boy, they really secure these down. This tape is super sticky. You could do a little window and then do the cutout. Ugh, of the yum for the tag that would be cute and then put in a little treat so many options I know you're going to be seeing this more I just opened it up so had a little bit of time to play so there you go that's your video for today thanks for stopping by